hypocrite by copying the color instead of learning how the color theory works but i would never show it to you so you think i'm perfect hi it's alicia here and this is going to be a hell of a ride so let's take the sketchy set and my sketchy line arts and make a sketch and obviously i'm not going to show you the process of sketching that's because making a good sketch is a miracle and for me every time i try to sketch it's like gambling it's one in ten chance that i will actually make something that doesn't look like it was made by a five-year-old but happily you can watch me create some useless strokes like a damas as if it was so easy, let's proceed to the coloring stage. I take my extra smooth edges coloring from my cartoonish makeup brush set and color it in. And let's be a complete hypocrite by copying the color instead of learning how the color theory works. Bruh. Of course, starting out with the wrong size of the brush, but I would never show it to you, so you think I'm perfect. And now let's proceed to the most questionable part of my process. It's coloring everything by hand. I do it because I like this part of the process, because this is the only part I can't pick up, so I want to enjoy it. So don't ask me why. Let me have my happiness for a little bit. Oh, and once again, I'm going to take a different brush for a different thing, because I'm not actually a real artist because real artists don't do that they can draw anything with just one brush right so i'm not real actually i don't even exist because you're dreaming wake up Okay, so now let's proceed to the next step and let's take the airbrush air, <coughs> air and now let's color in the line art because I really hate this drawing right now and this is the only quick fix I can do and I need to do it very fast before I have a mental breakdown. And now I did some work off camera because I actually finally did have that mental breakdown. So I corrected the line art and now I'm going to spend 10 minutes on making the perfect round eyes. Pretending that Procreate doesn't have an option for that. Oh, and let's not forget about taking an hour on making the most mesmerizing and beautiful eyes, because those are the most important part of every drawing. Every sensible artist knows that. By the way, of course I did her blue eyes by accident. I don't know why I did that. But now, oh well, now we're going to do the most twisted part of my process. We're going to draw shading on her face, blend it out, and then draw shading on her face, and then we're going to blend it out, and then we're going to blend... No, 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 then, then sorry, sorry. Then we're going to put shading on her face, and then we're going to blend it out, and then we're going to put some shading... Uh-huh, you should say Oczywiście, że mam zły layer selektowany. Po prostu make-up. Znaczy to jest blendowanie teraz, nie? No wiem, ale to... Hmm. To wygląda bardzo podobnie. Mhm. Mm nie? Mhm. Mm Okay, so after my boyfriend left me alone, I could finish blending everything out. I love this process. I did by accident lose any definition of the lips, but I did fix it later. And by the way, how the hell did I change the whole perspective of the face? I don't know what happened there. I, I don't know, but it does look better now and I'm kind of satisfied. I am sorry that I didn't show you guys how I did that. I don't even know myself. I just turn the camera off and I go, I go like primal mode, draw for a few hours, I don't know what's happening, I don't talk, I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't pee, like there's saliva drooping from my face, my brain is off, it's turned off, everything is focused on drawing. I think artists that record their process, they will understand me that, like, until you squeeze yourself into like an embryo pose on your bed and you're going to draw in complete isolation it's not going to look that good i don't know let me know in the comments i really want to know is it like that or, or am i just weird oh and of course i'm going to show you how i draw eyelashes because this is the easy part you know like artists and mostly artists that create online content there's like a there's a spectrum in things you want to show and there it goes like vertical and horizontal so the the worst option is something 
that doesn't really change that much in the look of the whole drawing and you can also have the maximum of changing a lot in the drawing and then you go down from the worst the worst is taking a lot of time and the best is taking no time at all and now the eyelashes they are at the best spectrum they are the best of two worlds they change a lot and they also take no time almost no time so i always show how i draw the lashes i like to look i like i like i mean do you have something against it no even if you do in poland there's a famous saying it goes like that children and fishes don't have any voice so I don't care if you're over 18, you are either a child or a fish, pick your fighter. I'm joking, obviously. You have a say, I guess. At this point, I have been working on this drawing for a lot of hours and my mind has been going through a lot of thoughts like is this what i'm going to do for my whole life is drawing highlights on faces of celebrities most of the time so i get a lot of likes on instagram so i can pay my bills is this really what my life is about if yes this is the i don't know i don't know is there anything out there besides this? And then suddenly I hear screaming coming from the kitchen. So I drop everything and I go check it out. So I open the door and in front of my eyes my roommate appears and she's hanging half through the window. So I ask her what the hell is happening? Why are you doing this? Although I actually know the answer because she's just freaking mental. But I want to know the motivation in her actions. So I ask her what are you doing? And she turns around to me and she says oh nothing. I'm just I'm just talking to the people on the street because I'm bored so I'm like oh yeah okay uh, I go check it out and I go to see what are those people on the street I stick my head out of the window and I see no people but it's just a normal day in my house so I just go back to drawing as I should anyway right here what you will observe it's a wild animal and he's going through a lag, a brain lag. First I thought maybe the video lagged a little bit, but no. I just stopped functioning for a few seconds, but then I happily unlagged. I, I do fear that one day I will just lag forever and I'll never go back. That's just one of my fears, you know? Now you'll see the last part of myself fighting through recording this process and it will be only composed of a very very speed up video of me drawing hair and, uh, and after that I, I gave up. I, I have to admit I did give up and I'm sorry about that but this is the finished piece and it's absolutely amazing. You know I am never humble, I am my biggest fan and I'm proud of it so yes this is amazing. I did deserve to say that to myself. Okay, probably literally no one would have problem with that, but okay, at least. Before I go, I have the most exciting announcement for you. I just launched my new brush set and it's the Smudge brush set. You know, guys, I had a beef with Smudge tool. I really did. But finally, I decided to create brushes that will work for me. I finished making the whole set of 11 brushes and they are everything I have dreamed of when I thought about smudging. I did feel like something was missing when I was using my blending brushes because I did want a little bit of the smudge, but the smudge that I was given by Curcrete, it didn't do the trick for me. So finally, after hours of work, I have everything I need. From brushes that blend smudge very softly to very strong and very different kind of smudging brushes. My absolute favorite, which is the glassy smudge oh my god i can play with this brush i can like smudge it all around for hours and i have been doing that this is very anxiety releasing it's so comforting so relaxed just look at that 
Another one worth mentioning is the hair smudge. Oh my god, I absolutely love it and I will be going crazy with this one. Also, this is a very cool, very cool add-on. This is the glitch smudge. Oh my god. Alright, enough of that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Like, comment and subscribe. And I love you. Bye-bye.